Hello everybody, and welcome to my new video update. Well, it's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, um, so I want to start off first of all by thanking JoeMan604, who kindly sent me this little bit of a picture he did for me, a little bit of a background, so uh, I decided to use this as the background for this update video. So thank you for that. Uh, I'm using it as my desktop as well. Uh, so, yes, I, thank you. And I also want to say thank you to my subscribers, each and every single one of you. Far too many now to name individually, but yeah, I'm past the 400 mark, which is absolutely, you know, marvellous for me. Didn't expect this when I first started out, uh, when I first started out part one of Medieval 2. It started out as a bit of fun, and it's, you know, it's still very much fun, but it's grown and grown, and uh, I'm really, really happy, and, you know, glad to be doing these videos for you guys for your enjoyment and I just hope you continue to enjoy them so thank you all right two parts to this update really first part is uh, about the future of my LP videos uh, second is about medieval 2 total war I have come up with a new idea to get a few more people involved uh, hopefully you all will be watching this uh, update after you've watched the uh, med 2 videos up to number 105 uh, because I'm going to have a bit of a spoiler here two family members died during those parts of old age and therefore I've got now only eight family members but more of that later on so yeah first of all future of my my videos as you know so far I'm doing um, finished Alan Wake and finished uh, Half-Life and I'm now doing uh, English Total War <laughs> English Total War <laughs> Medieval 2 Total War English campaign excuse me um, and Sims 3 and World Adventures and Fallout 3. Uh, hopefully those will be finished around about October because in October this is my plan. Uh, I am going to be doing Fallout New Vegas. I was only going to be doing that solely as the single LP but I've changed my mind. I keep changing my minds. It may change again before October but this is my plan now is to keep obviously still do that one but also in October the new Sims expansion Nightlife comes out as well. So in October, start up with Michael Jones, uh, install Ambitions and install Nightlife and commence the new LP with Michael Jones with those added expansions. So that's in October. And also another Total War, which I will leave to you guys up to a vote. It will either be Medieval 2 Kingdoms, any of the uh, four Kingdoms expansion discs, or Rome Total War. I will take votes on that closer to the time, and whichever one gets the most votes, I will do that total war. Uh, so that will be the three LPs that I plan to continue with uh, after I finish these current three. So that's the future of my LPs. Any other comments or recommendations, you know, feel free to make comments, but that's what I have set in stone. Any future LPs, possible future LPs, obviously they're going to have to take the back burner for the time being. Uh, because these types of games, obviously, as you can appreciate, are very, very big campaigns, very, very long, and therefore take a long time to finish. And, you know, doing five LPs, whilst I, I found originally uh, I thought I could cope with it, it turned out to be quite uh, quite a lot of pressure on myself, really, and I, I just felt that I couldn't keep updating the videos for you guys regularly enough, and therefore chopped it down to three uh, by finishing Alan Wake and Half-Life as quickly as possible. And I don't want to go back to that. So that's the three I have in mind for future. Fallout New Vegas, Sims 3 with Ambitions and Nightlife New Expansions installed, and either Rome, Total War, or Medieval 2 Kingdoms, as per whatever you guys vote for. So that's that. Uh, okay, and uh, the second part of this update video, which I feel is one of the most important parts of it, and I hope you're all watching if you do like the Medieval 2 Total War campaign, because this is quite pivotal. You know how I introduced the RP element, the interactive RP element to the campaign by allowing subscribers to play out uh, a family member each? That's going fairly well at the moment. Um, we've got the forum, I've got a forum and website up and running so that we can take the 
you know, take the discussion and requests and, st you know, start RPing our characters, which influences the campaign that you see on YouTube, of course. Uh, I don't want to dis exclude anybody from this. All subscribers are more than welcome to join up to the forums. It's just need to give you, as I say, your username, uh, an email address, and pr you're pretty much up and running nice and quick and easy. I've still watched the videos on YouTube, the comments pages, and still reply to comments and suggestions, and I will still be taking votes on YouTube for crusades and things like that, like I have in the past. I don't want to exclude anybody. Uh, but um, I've got the Commoners Tavern over at the website. Um, that is where everybody can go and have a general gossip with fellow tavern folk. You can, uh, you know, give your comments on what you think the king's doing right, what he's doing wrong, what you would do if he was in his shoes, what you think of family members and their choices. Just a general gossip about the campaign where everybody is welcome to comment. We have the discussions and requests forums where that's where the family members discuss future decision making and where they want to go and how they want to govern their settlements. Also, again, people are welcome to you know, pass comment on uh, in that forum as well and give their advice. But as uh, I was just stated at the start of this update video, two family members died and therefore we're down to eight subscribers taking part. And I want more. I want more of you guys to be involved. And therefore I have come up with an idea. The King is feeling rather burdened by the current campaign situation. Overwhelmed by three uh, enemies on three fronts. And as you can see from the latest parts, Battle after battle is a, is happening at the moment, and he's feeling he's feeling the strain. He's 43 years old. He's not getting any younger. He needs some help, and therefore this is where further subscribers can get involved because the king is now putting out a request for five advisors, five personal advisors that will play the following role: family members. Obviously, they have control over an individual family member. That's quite straightforward. How they govern their settlement, where they want to go, they put their requests forward, that still stays the same. The personal advisors don't have that sort of individuality over a character on the map, but what they do do is they have they give the king advice basically. They, they are what they say on the tin advisor. So if the, the family member makes a request, like Michelle wanted to go back to Khan to wait for his troops so that he could then attack Italy, uh, Milan in Italy in the south. Rather than the king having to make that decision on his own, he could turn to his advisers and ask for their opinion. They would get their heads together in the forum and see what they would advise the king to do. You know, advice on where to send assassins, advice on where to send spies, adv advice on who to get peace treaties with and who to carry on with, you know, carry on at war with. You know, just general advice where to send blockade which ports to blockade, etc, etc. So the advisors, five of them, will be the king's right-hand men, or women, and they will have say of how the king should be carrying out his business. Still, the king has the ultimate say, and if I disagree with your advice, and that's my choice, but if five of you are telling me to do one thing, I'm going to be under pressure to probably carry it out. So, that is the new element added to this uh, campaign, be it um, for the good or for the bad. I'll trial it. The family member stuff seems to be working fine. So let's try this. Um, and don't be put off. If you choose to be an advisor, that doesn't mean I strike you off my family member list. If a family member comes up and available, you're still going to be in that queue. You're still going to be uh, available to be that family member. You don't have to worry about that. It's just a way to get some more people involved. So, here's how you apply. Send me a personal message via YouTube with a bit of a background for your character. We're trying to get this into an RP element. Let's get into the swing, get into the role. Give me your name, where you're from, how old you are, your character of course. And then a bit of a paragraph about how you envisage yourself fitting into the role and what you might, how you could help your king. Think of it as a little bit of a mini interview background about your character and a little bit of a paragraph about how you see yourself fitting into role as an advisor to the king. Quite an important role to play. As I say, five spots open. I'll open up a new forum on the website, the King's Council, and 
that will be where the king and his advisers sit down and make some decisions about the campaign and make some decisions about some of the family members' requests. So family members, you don't, know yet, you don't only have to convince me anymore, you now have to convince my advisers as well. So, as I say, put your personal messages forward to me via YouTube with your background information for your character a little bit of a paragraph seeing how you fit in think of it as a little bit of an interview and I will pick the five and they will become my personal advisors for the future parts of the campaign so and also <coughs> prepare for it I laid down some guidelines for my family members when I picked them and if they didn't sort of fit in and I didn't feel they were doing as much as they could be as a family member, I would recast them. And it's come to the point where Prince Hubert was picked, uh, someone was picked to play Prince Hubert, and uh, unfortunately, as I feel, Prince Hubert has not been fulfilling his role as he should be, and therefore I am recasting Prince Hubert. So, everybody, I've got a list of people who are interested, I'm putting it out there again, who is interested in role-playing as Prince Hubert in this campaign? Send me your personal messages again via YouTube. I'm interested in being Prince Hubert and Prince Hubert has a special function. Now, normal family members, they have to request what they want to do and get approval from the King in future, approval from the King and the, and the King's advisors. The, the Prince, however, he's the Prince of the Kingdom if he says, I'm going against the Danes with my full stack army, the king cannot override that. The, ki the prince does not have to request anything, the prince demands these things, and I cannot override him as the king. And therefore that is quite a pivotal and important role, because anything the king requests automatically gets accepted. And therefore, for this important role, once again, yes, send me a personal message via YouTube. I am interested in uh, you know, role-playing as Prince Hubert, but give me a paragraph of what you intend to do as Prince Hubert. What is your grand scheme, your grand plan with Prince Hubert? And then names will go into a hat and I'll pick out uh, a person at random and that person will play Prince Hubert. So, and that is pretty much my update in a nutshell. Thank you all once again to all my subscribers. Um, the future of my LPs I've put out there is uh, is now pretty much set in stone. In October, it's going to be Sims 3 World Earth, uh, Ambitions and Nightlife, um, Fallout New Vegas, and Rome Total War or Medieval Total War Kingdoms. And as for the Medieval Total War 2 English campaign future, five advisors up for grabs. Uh, send your personal messages via YouTube. And also, Prince Hubert is going to be recast, and so, once again, send me your personal messages if you're interested in role-playing as Prince Hubert. He is in his mid-50s, and you're probably only going to get six years out of him, which is about 12 game turns, but that should be at least a month, so you're going to get at least a little bit of time with him, and you have the added bonus of, I cannot override your decisions, so you have pretty much free reign to do what you wish. So there you go please I hope you keep enjoying my videos I'm open to any comments on any of my videos and any of the, on my front YouTube uh, comments page and feel free please I keep urging you if you're interested in the campaign any one form or another get yourself over to the forums and get involved because it's uh, it's quite a bit of fun I'll see you next time until then take care <laughs>